Okay, so I just finished doing a much more accurate measurement of the wing mounts, and it's pretty good news. I'm not going to have to mess with the wing mounts. So the, the manner in which I measured them months ago was prone to huge errors, I guess. So when we look at the new measurements, okay, so this will be the right front mount main bolt hole to the bottom of the spar. This is the center line of the bolt hole. It's 13.620 millimeters, okay, so 13.6 millimeters from the bottom of the spar measured in several places uh, to the center line of the bolt hole. This is where I've taken um, wooden standoffs uh, on the bottom of the spar, put a piece of angle iron under that, electrical taped it all together the length of the spar, and then used that as a basis for measurements and then subtracted the difference between the top of the angle iron to the bottom of the spar, and then divided the uh, bolt diameter in two, and that means it's 3.14 millimeters. So once I do all that math, I come up with 13.62 for the right front wing's main bolt hole. And if we jump down to the left, it's only off by 0.2 millimeters from the right, okay? And this was me having to move the wings around and reset up this entire measurement thing a second time. So these two are pretty close to dead on on the fronts, okay? Uh, same thing for the rears. Um, you'll notice it's a big difference, 11.725 and 11.60. Uh, the interesting thing about this is by uh, making the bolt hole lower and closer to the spar, you actually raise the wing up. That means that we end up with a uh, uh, rear mount is higher than the front, which is possible. This is wrong. That's an old note. Uh, on average, between the two wings, it's 2.0375 millimeter difference between the front and rear. And that results in a neg negative angle of incidence, not positive. Um, and of course, we don't know on the uh, pipes that hold the, the tubing that holds the wing to the frame, we don't know that the back hasn't been lowered uh, in the plans versus the front, and that's where we get our positive angle of incidence, okay? Or that the plane flies with a negative angle of incidence. However, previous um, stuff I did where I had the longe rods leveled and then used a electronic level with an angle indicator did in indicate a positive angle of attack which was different between the two ring wings of the root okay 1.65 and 2.1 so i suspect that the rear tubes are lower than the front tubes i got to verify all that but um the initial assumption that the wing uh metal mounts were all screwed up and had to be redone it was wrong um this pretty much proves they're right I'm going to go back and measure them a second time just to double check and validate all this because one of the things you have to watch for is when you use your little uh, electronic measuring calipers, the uh, aluminum angle can bend down if you put too much pressure uh, as you expand it to get your measurement by almost a millimeter or more. Um, and I caught that doing the second measurements. So I kind of go back, you got to go back and check this right wing one more time now. So I got to move the wings back around and do all this again. Um, but uh, once I accounted for that error, all of a sudden everything started matching up. Uh, so let's see here. What does this mean? Well, it means that the wings look pretty good as far as the wing mounts. And I don't have to mess with them. Um, so uh, in the end, we're still back to this problem with these, the way they did this tubing is totally screwed up okay um let me get you a picture here <clears throat> i mean look at this this is a laser with the entire plane leveled i think this is the rear mount let me see if i have a picture of the front mount i think i'd take the front mount off to get the laser on the rear or else it's a different video let me see what i got here for the plane Okay, so this is back when I first discovered this thing was all screwed up. And this is the front mount, okay? And you can see that the front mount appears to be off sideways. Um, and I think I verified that one of the tubes is cut wrong. Uh, but uh, the left and right level looks pretty good, okay? But it's off cockeyed, which is bringing uh, this wing in closer and this wing's farther away. And uh, that's one of the reasons I'm replacing the front tubes is to fix this problem. But the rear tube is even worse. 
Yeah, so in this video, you can see I've had to take the front of parts so that the laser could shoot through here and let us see what's going on with the back. And unfortunately, I don't think I have a better picture of this, but you can obviously see that this bolt hole is up much higher than this bolt hole, and look how far off it is. And the reason it's so far off, aside from the fact that they've drilled this all weird, is this tube here, um, where it comes down, uh, they uh, drilled the hole for the bottom of this tube into the launch rod um, to the right in this picture, way to the right. Where the w left one is centered, this one's way off to the right. I think it was, I don't even remember what the measurement is, but it kicks off the entire top here. So I'm not sure what happened is if they installed this tube, this one on the left is right, the one on the right, they put way far, farther on the right. Um, like right here in the picture of the bottom, it should be in the center of this blue, not off on the edge of the blue, okay? That tilted the entire mechanism over. And so uh, I don't know that they mounted the bottom part first, got these tubes up here, went, oh, look, this is kind of screwy, you know, and so they did all this drilling that's all cockeyed. I mean, it's obvious. You can see this bolt here is much higher than this bolt here uh, because they didn't catch the fact that they mounted the right tube incorrectly, okay? That's why I'm having to replace the tubes. Uh, the front tubes have to be replaced because, like that picture you just saw a second ago, they're off a tiny bit, and it's because of how they drilled them. Um, the back one's got to be done because i got to fix it down here on the bottom right, and uh, then also fix it back here because they've got the holes drilled wrong. But it looks like the wings are right. All the problems were in this tubing. Uh, so the next question is, what was the angle of incidence supposed to be on this wing? <laughs> who, who knows? We have no idea. Um, I think I had uh, that one picture I showed a second ago. Um, it might be this one. Actually, yeah, well, anyhow, I'm not going to worry about it. It's like two degrees. So the next thing I got to do, I got to go ahead and put all of this back together wrong like it is right now because I need to figure out if these bolts here are lower than these bolts here producing a positive angle of incidence in comparison to the laundry of the wing before I start making these tubes. Uh, but the good news is I ain't going to mess with the wings. It's all the tubes now. So that's where I stand now. This is taking forever, I swear to God. <laughs>